Well, lots of people ask me what positioning strategies are and, uh, you know, I can point you to thousands of books. <laughs> lots of people have written about strategy in airports. Uh, you get lots of books on that kind of stuff, don't you? But uh, for me, um, you know, I, I found a fantastic reference uh, a long time ago and, and it was a, a book uh, written by a guy called Jack Trout and, and it was actually called Positioning. It was written by him and, he, and his mate, uh, Al Reese, who's had an advertising background, Jack Trout's a psychologist. And it was absolutely fascinating. The book, by the way, is just called Positioning, so it's well worth a read. And what was really interesting about what he said is that, you know, positioning is all about what's going on in your head, about in your mind. And uh, he had this, uh, he has this thing called the rule of seven, which, which is absolutely fascinating. Um, what it's about is, is, is that us as human beings, can, uh, he, he said, could only recall up to seven brands even in a in a high interest category and he uses lots of different examples he interviewed thousands of people around the world and used lots of different examples but one of them that he used was toothpaste for instance so if you went out into the street and said to somebody can you give me the name of seven toothpaste brands they'd really really struggle they you know it's impossible yeah and and i for almost the past decade have asked exactly the same question but i use mobile phones and uh, I've asked this question all around the world during workshops. I pick on an individual and I say to them, look, uh, Nokia is a mobile phone brand. Can you name seven other mobile phone brands? And they struggle. There's been instances when people have been able to do it, but you know, it doesn't happen very often. And what's really, that's interesting in its own right, because there are literally hundreds of mobile phone manufacturers and mobile phone brands. So that's interesting in its own right. But what's really interesting about what, what Trout was sort of doing was, and saying was, is this, that the more memorable you are, the greater your market share. And when you think about it, that's so, you know, based on common sense. Of course it is. If you walk into a shop and somebody says, what are you looking for? And you're thinking, well, I'm looking for a mobile phone. Which one? If you could only recall three brands, yeah? So being in the minds of, uh, of people is really important, being positioned in the minds of people. Of course, there are things that slant that a little bit, like Nokia is the number, one, still sells more mobiles than anybody else, even though it's sent out profit warnings and all those kinds of things. But it's in the minds of more people. And in some markets, it's the only thing you can buy. You know, in, in uh, fast developing uh, economies or uh, developing countries, if you like, Nokia's probably the only kind of phone you can get in. So they still command a huge amount of uh, uh, sales in those kinds of places. What's also interesting about it, though, is that what, what Jack went on to talk about was how that uh, memorability came down to this market share thing and how, therefore, it was really important to get into this top three. And he did it on this basis, because if you're in the top three of any sector, you're in the 20% that owns 80% of the market, yeah? So everybody else is really scrambling to get positioned in your mind. But the, the two organizations that are really in your mind are number one, the leader, yeah? And the challenger. And we know like Branson, for instance, has made a living out of challenger brands. If you're in the third position, if you're the third player, you're starting to threat, be threatened really because us as human make beings, when we make decisions, at the end of the day, we come down to a choice of two. It's either that one or that one. Oh, what's that third one about? But certainly not what's number seven and number eight about. So that all goes. And that's the power of actually positioning. It's in the mind, but it's also in the heart as well. And the very best organizations differentiate themselves and they differentiate themselves in a way that it sticks in our mind and touches our hearts.